Hi all folks, this is Maxim High on the Android.com and Galaxy S2 root.com. So today we're going to do uh, HSPA Plus 21.1, um, which is faster than iPhone 4S, which is maxed out 14.4. Um, we're going to do a speed test. I'm in my basement and I'm still getting full HS HSPA Plus um, signals. This is mainly due to the better antenna design on the Galaxy S2 for the AT&T. Um, if you're looking for the fastest phone, this is definitely it. It's faster than the iPhone 4S. Um, it has really good antenna. Anyway, let's do a speed test. It's on HSPA. And let's see how fast it is in my basement. Usually I don't even get that much good signals um, for you know anything 4G here, but I'm getting full signals, so we'll see. So as you can see, it's doing not too bad. 2.2.7 megabits per second download. Um, I'm in my basement, so this is like the worst it's gonna get, I think. But I'll do further testing at the malls and stuff, and real life testing, where it really counts. But that's actually fairly good. And actually, I can pull up my um, Sprint one here. And let me do a speed test with this one real quick, just as a comparison point. No thanks, just do it. So this is my Sprint Epic 4G Touch. Um, it's having, it's connecting to 4G now. And let's leave this screen on. Actually, you know what? It's not even on 4G. Um, usually I do get 4G here, but it's still on 4, it's still on 3G. That's why it's slower. So this test kind of bonked. Um, anyway, that's just the test speed I got in my basement. But it'd probably be higher if I did it um, where I get better signals. But it's not too bad. It's actually pretty good. AT&T 4G. Well, it's not really 4G, but it's pretty good. And uh, I believe it uses a lot less battery power than uh, YMAX or 4G LTE from Verizon. So it's not a, it's actually a pretty good choice um, for AT&T if you have AT&T. Um, so that was a review of the speed test and I'll have more tests.